My name is Peter Cox. I'm founder and managing director of Carrig Conservation um, and Carrig Building Fabric Consultants. I'm also president of ICOMOS, which is the International Council of Monuments and Sites, uh, International Scientific Committee on Energy and Sustainability. And our main aim within this um, scientific group is to improve energy efficiency in heritage buildings, but also heritage centers, and in particular, heritage cities. So I came to the colloquium by a kind invitation of the city manager um, to bring my views, if you like, on conservation and on sustainability to the, to the party. And I have to compliment Kilkenny County Council on organising this um, colloquium because it's a breath of fresh air really uh, within our industry whereas typically uh, a, a local authority or a state party would go out to tender for a master plan on such a large site and they would appoint a design team to bring that to a level of potential development. Now we all know due to the economic downturn that there aren't that many developers out there with um, the will or the money to actually develop a site of this nature. So this approach is um, excellent for moving forward and for looking at potential uh, shorter term uses and then developing it over a longer period. The conservation element of uh, this site, which I refer to as the Smithick site, is <coughs> very historic. There is St. Francis Friary in the middle of it, which um, was founded in, on that site in the early 1200s or 13th century and developed over time. And we know for a fact that the friars of the early 15th or 16th century, sorry, um, were producing beer for their own intake and also for um, some sale to merchants and uh, the hierarchy of Kilkenny of the time. In 1700, uh, Smithicks took over the brewing and now they've been brewing on that site for over 300 years. So but beer has been brewed on the site for perhaps 500 years. So it is very, very important from that historic industrial uh, heritage point of view. The, obviously the Smithicks um, and now in later years Diageo have been a very important part of the economy of Kilkenny with such a very, very good facility producing um, vast amounts of beer for export within the city limits and this is unusual um, other than Guinnesses in Dublin but in most other country in most other smaller cities such as Cork and Limerick and Galway where there were breweries or distilleries they have all gone to external or to foreign ownership so we must stress the importance of this site to not only the history of the industrial uh, era, but also the economy of Kilkenny. Within the site, there are many, many uh, older buildings because it has evolved over that time. And <coughs> going from St. Francis uh, to some later buildings, which were constructed in the mid 1800s, the 19th century, and then some very interesting buildings built in the early 20th century. So we do have a value, a historic value on the site. And it would be a grave mistake to consider demolishing all these buildings um, because then you're, you're into the realm of A, having to get rid of um, the demolition waste, which is deemed um, kind of environmentally not good and you end up with an empty site. So what we're suggesting um, is that there is serious consideration given to survey the, the site, identify the buildings and their ages and perhaps their importance, and then 
uh, creating a pattern of, of retention of certain buildings so that they can be reused. And most of them are in good condition because they are in uh, constant use over their, their time. The, I suppose the important thing to consider is that when Diageo are moving out of the site and they will decommission a lot of their equipment and that um, least damage is done to the structures, to the ones that we want to retain um, during that strip out. And this will be important to manage from the Kilkenny City Council point of view. But once that is done, we will end up with a series of buildings that can be used as perhaps pop-up uh, facilities for the community, for the various festivals that happen within Kilkenny. And, you know, not to mention Cat Laughs and the Arts Festival, the Music Festival, there are many, many other uh, facilities that go on in Kilkenny. And the, these areas could become pop-up performance spaces or pop-up shops for Christmas markets, um, for farmers markets, etc., which would bring a whole new use and a whole new community um, use of the space because we've got to remember that this site has been excluded, or particularly St. Francis uh, Friary has been excluded from the public for perhaps 300 years. And it will be wonderful to open up this again to the people and the visitors of Kilkenny. And if um, perhaps a small green space can be created around the, ab the friary and <coughs> with um, with uh, you know a, a limited amount of conservation and, and stabilization of the friary itself could become a, v a very nice feature for the city center of Kilkenny. The buildings along the riverfront um, appear to be of a later date and perhaps um, in, in, in the late 1900s and therefore they're not as perhaps important as other buildings and these could be removed with care to create a, a linear park along the riverfront, which would give great permeability from the castle all the way up to St. Canis's and give a new route along the riverfront. So these are some small things that can be done piecemeal and not costing too much money because we all know finances are very tight at the moment, but they could be done over the next number of years um, during vacation of this site by Diageo. Sustainability and energy is another area of importance and Kilkenny City itself is part of a European initiative of eight cities across Europe which are learning from each other and teaching each other on how to become more sustainable and more energy efficiency, efficient in historic city centres. And here we have an ideal site to look at, an ideal flagship development to put up for this um, future um, involvement in Herb Act. Um, because we could, using perhaps the two rivers, the Brega and the Nor, which bound the site um, from perhaps using small um, water turbines to generate electricity for general lighting, say for the streetscapes or for the parks areas. And then we can look at, at other alternative energies to be incorporated in some, on some of the buildings, particularly the, the, the later buildings where we could put voltaic or, or solar panels, we could use um, geothermal, but we could also look at perhaps putting in what's called a, a biomass or a, a CHP, a combined heat and power plant, which could then generate a um, district heating system for this complex, but also could perhaps feed the likes of St. Canis's Cathedral, Rose House, the Courthouse, St. Mary's, which is coming down the road, the Town Hall, and other elements that are within the ownership of the City Council. So all in all, we have got a wonderful opportunity here to um, make this a flagship uh, project for Kilkenny, but it's important to incorporate these 
ideas and thoughts in the earliest possible process. Because if you don't, they don't then get incorporated. And then five, ten years down, down the road, it's too late to try and implement alternative um, thinking like this. So I would encourage Kilkenny City Council and the um, partners and stakeholders in this project to look at this um, way of, of conserving some of the historic uh, industrial hist hi history of the site and then finding new uses will be easier if you've got some buildings on site and I mentioned the industrial side but there's nothing to stop us now looking at perhaps educational and obviously retail and some but it's got to be a mixed use development um, over time. The fact that the government have recently announced the amalgamation of Waterford Institute of Technology and Carlow Institute of Technology m must be encouraging and perhaps Kilkenny City Council should approach these to include a potential faculty in Kilkenny because you've got a very neat triangle between Waterford, Kilkenny and Carlow. And these are all ideas that could um, take time but um, if they're not discussed and developed and, and worked on then they may not come to fruition.